Good morning. Today I'm going to do a, a video on psychotronic tortures. Remember, my videos are for entertainment purposes only. I'm going to try to start this off because it's a lot of information, and you know, I hope everybody's doing well. I got hit pretty hard this morning. Um, it's letting off right now, so we'll do this video. You know, I pray for every one of y'all TIs out there struggling. That God be with y'all. Okay, psychotronic tortures. Synthetic telepathy tortures choose to broadcast to, and they have also had the power to block or censor any emotions or words of their victims, which they do not want to be broadcast. The synthetic telepathy spies can also place their own criminal or antisocial negative emotions and words into their victims by means of subliminal subconscious remote control microwave brainwashing technology. And they can change the voice behind their words so to make it appear that it is the targeted victims and not themselves who are communicating by means of synthetic telepathy. They can also store emotions and silently through word thought word or silently thought words onto a supercomputer memory bank which they can rebroadcast at a later time. The synthetic telepathy operators, although having high IQs, are predisposed towards sociopathic behavior because of a genetic defect or combination of genetic defects and that the only way they can sustain enthusiasm in their lives is by engaging and in an addictive pattern of sadomasochistic activities and fantasies. <clears throat> if you do not believe that synthetic telepathy exists, then you should look at websites and look it up and Google it. So anyway, I'm going to get to the point here. And all I'm really doing today is I'm going to go through some symptoms because, you know, it, it tells how, you know what I'm saying, Ten, it says tens of thousands of persons in each area working as spotters, neighborhood business spies following, checking on subjects, you know what I'm saying. God only knows how many of unsolved murders and diseases are actually committed and spread by these perps. So here's the psychopathic torture experiments. They reading and broadcasting private thoughts, frequent break-ins and poisoning of food, frequent break-ins and enters at home and at work with clothing, furniture, business papers, computer files, sabotage modified or stolen. And if you have any of this going on, then, then you're a victim of this. And to all targeted individuals out, out there, man, my heart goes out to you. I've experienced some of this stuff. I've experienced most of it some, at certain times. Like uh, one time they broke in, they, when, they, when it first started, we would come home from work, my door would be wide open, and, you know, like the laptop would be missing. Two days later... We would come back, the door would be wide open, the laptop would be right there where I left it. Yeah, stuff like that. Frequent break-ins and movements of items from their original places. Lights, TVs, and other electronic appliances turned on or off. Controlled dreams. Forced waking. Some synchronized with body motion. Microwave hearing. Transparent eyelids. Artificial tinnitus. Forced movement of jaw and clacking of teeth. Forced precision. Manipulation of hands, forced memory blanking and induced erroneous actions, induced changes to hearing, both apparent direction and volume and sometimes even content, sudden violent itching inside eyelids, forced manipulation of airways, including external, externally controlled forced speech, wildly racing heart without cause, remotely induced violent no rash itching or during delicate or messy work. Forced nudging of arm or or during delicate or messy work causing spills of injury or spills or inner injury. Yeah, they can make your arms jerk and stuff at time when they can do all kinds of stuff. Like say you're holding something or you're doing some kind of work and they make your hand jerk and you drop it, you know, and you think it's you and really it's them. Wild flailing of arms sometimes followed by short periods of rigor mortis. It means where your hands just go stiff. Suddenly overheating, 
all body pain sleep prevention. Force drop in your track sleep inducement. They do that to me all the time. Like I have to tell my friend, look, I'm setting my alarm for 15 because I'll just nod out. And I ain't on no drug to make me nod out. Irresistible, go here, go there commands. Microwave burns. Electric shocks. And torture victims. Impotency caused by secret poisoning of the perps. Usually alone in his or her torture. Constant mental rape, insults, and humiliation. Has no private even for his or her private thoughts. Cannot plan secretly nor hold trade secrets or intellectual property, is subject to vicious physical and psychological attacks, does not know how harassment is happening or by whom, does not know why harassment is happening, may be accused of mental illness and caused delusional. Boy, we've all dealt with that. Cannot get away no matter where he or she goes. Mind raped through streams, bugged conversation, Gossip, rumor, social, and job connections broken. Microwave voices, clicks, pops, brain zapping, direct harassment. I'll go through that brain zapping stuff. Death and disease threats via internet messages from perps. Mind control means influencing the behavior of an individual and to creating or remoting victim's personality toward desired state, the desired model human for the world. Easily steerable mass human without personal characteristics. A stupefied, dumbed-down person. This secures the interest of the elite of the world so that they can lead our lives through the changing times any way they want. Apparently growing out of earlier government mind control research programs. <clears throat> mind control is covert, finely crafted, around-the-clock harassment perpetrated against citizens living in their homes and communities. Destruction of families and other relationships by ways of lies, bribes, and threats is the goal of the phase of today's mind control. The current day mind control program has been carefully engineered so that if the target complains, their own words will instantly cause them to be labeled as mentally ill. The mind-body symptoms of the current day in mind control include excruciating pain, exceptionally frequent a blanking of recent memories, and truncations of new ideas, impotency caused by poisoning, very unnatural inability to sleep as a large amount of caffeine has been consumed, sudden forced awaking at precisely the same time in the middle of the night, continuing for at least months, and right on the clock time, such as 4 p.m., 0 minutes, 0 seconds, sudden clumsiness, which can result in spoil, spill, spoilage of precise work or injury. Attacks of extreme fatigue, sometimes almost to the point of perilous, perilous, paralysis when there's no reason for such attacks. Frequent powerful itching without rash, which may start as an electrical shock. Artificial bee stings, especially while trying to sleep. Wildly racing heart without any cause. Suddenly overheating without any cause. Fake sounds such as alarm clock going off when it shouldn't. Telephone ringing when there's no income call. Knock on the door, but no one's there. Voices, either very insulting or telling you that indicate telling you things indicate you're under surveillance. Vibrating of body parts when trying to sleep. High pitched tone in ears, which may change when switching electronic equipment on or off. In some cases, statements by strangers indicating they know what you had for supper. In some cases, statements by strangers, strangers in, in, indicating they can read your thought. Artificial and powerful sexual stimulation. Artificial and power prevention of sexual stimulation. These perp post messages anonymously on Usenet to indicate to the torture victims how they made the victims impotent. Ignore the little thread, the title in the thread, and read the subtitle threatening text from the perps. One can imagine how many of in hundreds of innocent Americans are made impotent by these disgusting, horrifying, and sadistic perps. <laughs> we think we lead our lives, but we do not. We have to wake up and take notice in the situation and try to change the course of history. And that's all on that. You know, I, I hope you liked it. You know, uh, it's not one of my best in my opinion, but. You know, if you're suffering from some of them symptoms, 
you're probably a target individual dealing with psychotronic torture. Thanks, and have a good day, and enjoy your Sunday, and God bless.